Yeah, my wonderful people, here as a subscriber, I see. I greet everybody, and I welcome everybody. It's a, uh, uh, let me call this one, <laughs> uh, mid-morning broadcast, coming from the platform of Okuta Daily Talk. I beg, we don't have much time to waste. 30 days lockdown threat, Simon Epa exploiting Southeast governor's weakness. According to Hanise, they believe it. They don't come out again, no. They don't come out again, they come they talk about Simon Epa. The four so called Zoological Republic of Nigeria excluded the Southeast India uh, students alone. We don't see organizing people to come and complain. No. Now they are complaining about someone. Epa. Have you seen how these people are the one that is making us to look like uh, 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 conquered people before the zoo? Anyway, <laughs> it is not their fault. It is the fault of a we be a France. We, we, uh, we uh, that is uh, calling them Ohanese and Dibelibe. Anambara policemen in panic mode as a non government intensifier attacks. In fact, the zoo now don't they panic say, ah, these people like, say they want to buy all of us. All of them don't they shake, don't they buy? I'm sorry, don't they shake it? Eh? Eh? Don't they eh, eh, run kitty kitty kata kata? Like what happened then in Yala yesterday, will be Sunday, my dear. If you see these people, how they pick raise, <laughs> you know that even themselves they are afraid, they are afraid, they are afraid to die. I thought they said they, 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 they will never rest until they buy all the hope of France in the South is Now they are in the total panic when Simon Epa have already given order to the Biafran liberation army to fish these people out. That is always on the, on the, on the Biafran matter. Whether good or bad, they must surely go there to do one, 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 one or two things. Anyway, my people, I beg, let us go straight to the reason why we're here this morning. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe. This one, a new week, it shall be well with all of us. The factional secretary general for Hanes and Dibeli Guzoro on Sunday said the self acclaimed the prime minister of Biafra, Simon Epa, was exploiting the weakness of Southeast governors to issue baseless threats. <laughs> he called it baseless threats. Anyway, anyway. Isi Guzoro was responding to Epa's threat to lock down the southeast from August 28 to September 26, 2024. Epa had threatened a 30 day lockdown of the southeast over insecurity in the region and the continued detention of Nam De Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He claimed the decision was agreed upon in a virtual meeting by his Biafra government in exile, BG. Cabinet is saying that the lockdown would affect all Nigerian government offices in Imo, Abia, Enugu, Ebo, and Anambra states in the southeast region. Reacting Isiguzoro said the recent meeting between the southeast governors with the former president Olusegun Obasanjo should have paved the way for a collective visit to Bola Ambe Tunumbu to advocate for Kano's release. My dear, none of them have the interest of Kano at heart. They all, they only exploiting that uh, that uh, avenue. To, to, to what I call um, uh, 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 the strategy which they want to use to be getting into office. Uh, knowing fully well that the Biafrans have no any single regard again for the Zoological Republic of Nigeria government in the Southeast. Isi Guzuru called for an urgent reassessment of the Southeast governor's strategies in addressing challenges confronting the region. You get the point now, eh? Mwa, let us read in between the lines. Uh, there's uh, some reactions we have to take uh, before we can be able to venture into another news. The Achiever said, all the donations you are collecting for your pocket, why aren't you giving us an account? You are not an, you are not an uh, uh, even uh, democratically elected. Just know that uh, we will never choose a man who has never been to Alibu over P2B. If Biafra comes, then it is P2B for Prime Minister. The Achiever said, uh, this man... <laughs> Anyway, I don't know who sent you to comment. Peter B, who don't even who said Biafra died 53 years ago? That is the person you want to give a prime minister. So monkey go walk finish them, Babu go come chop. Cruz Fono said, ha ha ha, these people don't want to bow, bow, but they must surely bow. Marvelous Arlene, they said these people don't they don't don't they monkey again. I don't know what it means. After claiming that they want to discuss Mazin Nam the Kano's release with Itunumbu. Meanwhile, it was an assassination plot against Mazin Simon Epa they actually gathered for. Mazin Nam Dekano is still in detention and they are here publishing rubbish. Of course, no be on and they believe it. Now them, Arthur said, uh, uh, Grace Ebo, you will explain what you mean by rascality in Biafra. Biafra Prime Minister fighting for your freedom is rascality. Rascality means mischievous or dishonest behavior and activity. Before you use any words, first know the meaning, okay? 
Okay, I didn't see the the what they call it a grace able. Oh, sir, the fine he said that this is close to what it should be. Our points are very clear. Release Mazen Namdekano and other detainees for asking for Biafra. Accept our referendum. Demilitarize Biafra territory. Otherwise, more rascality. You a flefus and a wusu in Biafra territory. Hashtag freedom or die. OJ said uh, hashtag freedom or die. Hashtag Biafra Masters 2024. You said your own and also supposed to be. Simon Ekpa, the legendary said the full and new criminal of Haneze. Ndioshi and Andi Atoro haven't seen anything yet. They will receive more water. Water. Suji said the real rascality is on the way, and there is nothing like Ohaneze in Biafra land again. It is. It has been banned by the government in exile. Montana Sisu said, "My PM showed this Ohaneze no pity. They have killed thousands of Biafrans in Igbo land with their so-called leadership, tribe of Judah." Said, why will they go when they have been used and dumped? Fulani will never listen to them. It is only Biafrans that can release him. Strong man, this boy always loved the headline and the clout. Nice one, oh, Finland boy. You are doing well. At least your superior is fighting for his life while you are cashing out. Strong man, you talk this one, oh, and this one are your own personal opinion. No? Mm hmm. Mike Ike Chuku or Mike Lochuku said, hey, 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 the so called Ohaneze Ndoshi Nandama still they exist. No, 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 they don't change their name. Oh. I will tell you their name <laughs> as, we, as we proceed. Montana Sisu said, the land and spirit of Biafra will put confusion in their center. Montana Sisu, they are panicking. Zoo are really panicking. Chine Nye Media Ohaneze is the real rascality. Now, waiting the talk, you say Ohaneze, and then be the real. People were the rascal. And according to where they said, on her knees, and do she, on I go cry, and there's plenty of fat, on I go cry, you cry, you, until on I begin to come up blood for I. Opole said, the hashtag Biafra Mass Exodus 2024, Biafra or die. This one sweet me, enter bone marrow. But wait, you, so they are talking important thing, and these ones are busy. Uh, for one side, talking about rascality and big, big grammar. Chai, chai, chai. Now, waiting is our brother talk. Ugo, Ohaneze, house of commotion. I beg, now, waiting, we could name them again <laughs> now. Ohaneze, house of commotion. But uh, come to think about it, the Ohaneze uh, government have been dissolved. We don't have Ohaneze in the belief again. Chuku Oma, Chikwe Oma, Ozeme now say you are speaking grammar. Let them continue until 28th of August and September by then. They will know how serious we are in getting freedom this year, December 2nd, 2024. To Tolo Ugo said that they will understand the point now. And there's Endoshi, or time many more await them. I come in peace. Okay, oh my brother, we understand your pain. Samuel Ekpa, a Kene Idem Milin Nobi. At Nigerian Tribune, there is no group known as Ohaneze in any part of Iboland or Southeast. Victory said on Haneze Ndinzuzu. <laughs> Sam Steke says, so which dishonest behavior has PM caused? Biafra independence is inevitable and must surely be respected at all levels. Tina said, whoa, this is, a, this is a becoming too much for this Ohaneze group. Do they need uh, do the need for? They said no. And here and her. Okay, here they are complaining. Vindicated 2023 said last month I visited Enugu. The governor of Enugu called white people and they fixed camera at everywhere. The white people said that the camera can take pictures of a speed moving vehicle and share it with Gogo. Then Gogo will be tra uh, tracking the vehicle wherever the vehicle goes. <laughs> While well, I know they finish up along, said the hashtag Biafra Mass Exodus 2024. Biafra or die. Nkem Nkea, okay, Nkea, Atom Iche. Ha 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 ha. Udogu Biafra said, Tunumbu is not a Biafra, so Biafra matters are left for Biafra to treat. So, what's Tunumbu business with ours? Okay, a oh, few comments and we are good to go. Montana Sisu said, My PM, you need to sleep and rest. Thank you for the good job you do for Biafra people. And according to Kata Project, there are all a bunch of jokers. Name them, Hanese, senators, and also all the governors in the southeast. 
Ngwao, we are moving straight into the another news. Obonga news. <laughs> This life, no, 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 no balance. So, an Ambala policeman no, in panic mode as a unknown gunman intensifies attack. The unknown gunman don't intensify attack now. Then the police now come to shake. Say, ah, Bila said these people now, they want to flush us. According to them, they say, we no go do it again, no, we no do it again. <laughs> so, now they, on a truly, they fear, eh? No, while I now, on a go fear now, fear, fear can, fear, fear never stop. I beg you let us read the news before reading Seki. Government masquerading as sessionists have intensified, intensified their attacks on security operatives in Anambra State. These are led to casualties on the part of the police forces and in some cases on the part of the government too. Two recent attacks have shown that those behind the attacks are not relenting. In the Navy and Anobi, policemen paid the supreme price during those recent attacks. Two weeks ago, gunmen operating in a Nawe attacked a police team, killing one of the policemen at the junction. So said the incident happened at about 9 a.m. and that the attackers, when repelled by the policemen, threw an impro impro improvised explosive device, that is IEDs, at the police team, leaving one of them fatally wounded. Also, a week after, another police officer was feared dead as gunmen attacked another police checkpoint in Ndobi, in the Middle South local government area of Anambra State. The latest attack of Daily Post gathered occurred at about 6.30 a.m. on Friday, August 16, at the checkpoint beside the Ndobi police headquarters. It was uh, further gathered that the gunmen engaged the police in a gun duel that lasted for about an hour, during which one of the policemen, simply identified as YB, was fatally injured. The deceased police officer was said to be the driver of one of the police vehicles. So said the hoodlums lodged in a house close to the checkpoint at the compound of a woman identified as Mama Amanda. They were said to have broken a wall uh, through which they entered the compound and forced the resident to open the gate to drive in their cars. They were also said to have collected the handset belonging to the residents and forced them into a room and warned them not to raise alarm, failing which they would be shot. The report also quoted eyewitnesses' uh, accounts was explaining, or cast explaining, that the hoodlums captured a young man said to be going on an errand that Friday morning, adding that the hoodlums had in their possession objects said to be snipers ak-47 chains among others in both accounts the police command headquarters in anambara confirmed the development the state police command spokesperson sp dochuku ikenga while reacting to the first attack on the navy said the men were attacked at a checkpoint at omata junction in uruago community along the navy over road Manhunt operation has commenced and it is uh, it is led by assistant commissioner in charge of Newi area command. The command is already working with the locals in the area to unmask and apprehend the attackers. Just as the manhunt was going on, the second attack happened. Ikenga, who confirmed it, said it is true. One policeman was killed and there is an operation going on in that area now which the commissioner of police has ordered. Many are now of the opinion that the attackers are being carried out by sessionist elements. But reaching to the claims, the indigenous people of uh, Biafra, IPOP, alleged that it established the Eastern Security Network as an armed vigilante group to dislodge the full and masquerading as herdsmen in Biafra land, not to confront the Nigerian security forces. In a statement issued by the IPOP uh, spokesperson or spokesman, a man powerful on Monday, he said that uh, the Fulani were a major threat to the indigenous people and communities in Nigeria. He alleged that those masquerading as Fulani herdsmen were responsible for the mass murder of defenseless communities in the southeast of Nigeria. The statement reads, they are responsible for the mass abductions and rape of women in Nigeria. They are behind the kidnapping for ransom and human organ trafficking in Biafra land, and in Zojuria with murderous Fulani security agents also in the Southeast Roads. 
In order to defend the defenseless Biafrans, the IPOP leader Mazen Namdekano, in collaboration with IPOP Family Worldwide, established the Eastern Security Network in December of 2020 as a child of necessity to checkmate the activities of Fulani terrorists nicknamed Hesmen in Biafra land. The mandate given to ESN operators was to curtail, dislodge, and remove terrorists, mining and destroying Biafran farms and farmers. The ESN operators have never uh, deviated from their mandate of protecting Biafra bushes, forests, and the people. On the other hand, IPOB as a movement remains non-violent and peaceful in all our activities since the formation of IPOB. Any day IPOB decides to move into armed struggle, the world we know and the Nigerian government we know as well. ESN operatives are not after the Nigerian security forces, but we know that the object of the murder of those soldiers on the most revered day in Biafra calendar was to present IPOB in a bad light in the eyes of our people and the world as well as to destabilize the development work being carried out in Abia state by the governor of the state. The Nigerian government knows those who take responsibility for the crimes committed in Biafra land, and those people are neither IPOP nor ESN. Why does the Nigerian government ignore them and accuse ESN and IPOP of what they had no knowledge about? The answer is very simple because it uh, accentuates their strategy, which is to attribute every criminal act in Biafra land to the only genuine movement standing between them and their evil agenda to conquer our people and disposes us of our ancestral land and heritage. Meanwhile, source within the personnel of the Anambra State Police Command have hinted daily posts that the targeted attacks on policemen have demoralized many officers, leaving them in fear. One of the source who spoke under the cover of anonymity said, the morale of our men in this command has never been this low. Our men now move in fear as they go out for duty. Worse is that there has not been any not, uh, noticeable assurance to them about their own safety or any form or any uh, form of incentive that can make them stake their lives when on their job. This is pitiable. Daily Post reached out to the State Police Command Spokesperson, SP Tochuku Ikenga, to know what the new Commissioner of Police in the state. CP Nae Obono Etam is doing to boost the morale of his men against the attacks on them by the government, but got no reaction. Calls repeated WhatsApp messages were not attended to. One of the messages sent to Ikenga read, Good evening, PRO. There have been two recent attacks on policemen in Inewi and Nobi, in which deaths were recorded. Right now, policemen seem to be endangered species. I want your reaction on who you think are responsible for these attacks, what the command is doing to ensure safety of its officers, and what is the CP charge, uh, CP is in charge to men of the command to boost their morale. Several proteins on the PPRO for comments on this fear on this failed, including attempts to hold a phone interview and appears to use a voice note to answer the questions. Our police source said, My brother. We are just living by the mercy of God. I have told you that morale is very low among the policemen today. <laughs> you are not the finish. We go out to work without knowing if we will return. Apart from that, no words of encouragement or assurance of our own safety. You get the point now, eh? That is the way it is. Anyway, here are the comments from our people. What do they think? I love uh, OBO said they don't have liver. They never see anything. Sparrow call and say wearing bulletproof can save them. Mom, hmm. And mouthpiece under, underscore back up. Say panic. Every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner. His Excellency, Imagine Samuel Ekpa, gave order, and you want to flaunt the others who burn you. Samuel Ekpa, the legendary, said the full and who place one Nigeria terrorist police in Biafra land will all buy there one after the other. Now, waiting is our brother talk. Mazi Chigo says, said uh, they will continue to be in panic until they all leave our land. All of them die in the land. Let the, let the seat at home start first. Can't wait. All bullets in our water. Now, waiting this, our brother talk. 
According to Chioma, he ain't talk to say, no, it is not like before. Where terrorist police have a field day slaughtering their friends like never before. Anyway, my people, now here we take by break. Like, share, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Game is here now.